So now the question is how do you assign and also remove cells and the values of cells? Um, how do you how do you do that? And so I'm gonna do an example on the board here and then do the same example um, in MATLAB and the reason I'm doubling up here is because this concept takes a minute to, to grasp. Uh, so I have this cell array with a number, an array, excuse me, a vector, a string, and a logical. And there are braces around it so it defines A as a cell array. So let's talk about assigning first. So there are two different things I can have on the left. I can have the cell itself, the Ziploc bag, if you will, or I can have the contents of a cell. Okay. Once again, parentheses here. This is the cell, and this, these are the contents of the cell. Okay. So if I'm going to assign something to a cell, it has to be a cell. And remember, we define a cell with curly brackets. So if I'm assigning something to a cell, what's over here has to be a cell. Okay. And so if I have the parentheses on this side, I got to have the braces on this side. So once again, this is a cell, as we um, um, established with the last video. If I'm assigning something to it, if I'm putting something in a cell, um, it's a part of a cell array, then it has to be a cell. That makes sense. So I can put in there a cell that has anything in it. And I can put. So effectively, I'm replacing a Ziploc bag with a Ziploc bag. Down here, I can put any value into a cell. Uh, because this is the contents. This is actually inside the Ziploc baggie. So I can put any value in there I want. So let's say I put in the value 99. Okay. If I do this, then A is going to become, um, after this operation, A would be uh, the cell James and then once again, 120, 1, 2, and 3, Amy, and True. And then after this operation, A would be equal to James, the cell, um, that MATLAB would display, it'd be the cell, it'd be James 99, um, Amy, and True. Okay. Which MATLAB is going to display as James in quotes. Uh, it's going to say one by three double. And then it's going to have Amy in quotes. And then it's going to have the number one, Boolean, logical one in quote, in, in brackets, excuse me. And then down here would have James in quotes. This is what's going to go in the command window 99 in brackets. Amy in quotes, identifying these as cells and then logical one in brackets. Okay, So that's assigning. Now, let's extend that and talk about removal, which is just assigning um, the empty brackets, right? the empty vector. So once again, if I have, and let's do this one with A3, right? let's say at this point in time, our vector is this. So, excuse me, our cell array is this. If I say A3 with the parentheses, remember this is a cell. If I say that is equal to the empty set, the empty vector, then that cell is going to get removed. That Ziploc bag is going to be removed from the backpack, it's going to be taken out. Okay. And so after this, MATLAB is going to show, well, after this, our cell array is going to be, I've taken out. A3, so Amy is not there anymore. So my cell array looks like that, and MATLAB will show it in the command window as the string James, 
99 in the brackets indicating it's a, in a cell and the logical true one is in a cell. Okay, because Amy has been removed. The third thing got removed. The cell array, the cell itself, the Ziploc baggie got taken out. Remember, if I do this, again, because it's in braces, this represents the contents in the bag. So I'm going to take the contents out of the bag. Right? If I assign that to empty vector, I replace what's in the bag with nothing. Which effectively, I take what's out of the bag and nothing's there. Right? So after this, the bag still remains. Remember, I'm replacing the contents with nothing. Okay? So the bag still remains. And so therefore, A now is James the empty vector and a true, which is also, um, MATLAB will show it in the command area as James brackets around nothing and then a logical true. Okay? Once again, the parentheses on the left hand side say I'm, I'm accessing a cell. And so I have to put a cell in a cell. So uh, what happens here on the right hand side? up here in assigning, I have to put the braces around. This puts something into the bag. So this is replacing the bag with another bag with something in it. This is putting something into the bag. Down here on removal, I'm taking the bag absolutely out, I'm deleting the bag, getting rid of it. Here, I'm taking the contents of the bag out, but the bag still remains as you see over here. So showing this in MATLAB, <coughs> Let me step through here. So I define my cell array here, which is the same one I did on the board. As I step through, you see I assign to the cell, cell number one, the cell with James with the, with the string James in it. And so now cell number one, which used to be a cell with 42, is now a cell with the string James in it. And all the other three remain the same. Step to the next one. Now I have the braces around the two, so I'm actually changing the value that's in the cell from that one by three double, which was the vector one, two, three. I'm changing that now to the number 99. So it puts the brackets around that and says that now in that cell is the number 99. Okay. Now what I do on line 12 is I actually remove, I remove the third cell. And so when I do that, the fourth cell is going to shift down. So I do that, and you see now the cell containing Amy is gone, and now the cell containing the logical true has been moved down. So not only three things inside the cell array. And then on line 13, I replace the contents of cell 2, because I have the braces around it, that's the contents. The contents of cell 2, I replace that with nothing, which effectively removes that 99 out of cell 2 and replaces it with the empty vector. And so when I do that, you see that now there's nothing in there. But there is still a cell there. The Ziploc bag is there. It is just empty. Okay? Um, some interesting concepts to play with. You're going to have to use them. You have to practice them. You have to make yourself learn them. Uh, but it really will help you in dealing with cell arrays if you can grasp this.